Hello and welcome to the Kufi Weekly. I'm your host, Kasim Hafiz. Hello and welcome to the Kufi Weekly. We have a very special episode for you today. We're in Brooklyn on this kind of cold and gray day, but we're in the sports business. Well, not exactly. We're talking to the first ever Israeli boxing champion, Yori Foreman. Born in Soviet Union, and age 10, we moved to Israel. My parents did immigrate. I dressed like a very Soviet boy and was getting picked up a lot. I had a lot of fights in the schools, uh, not doing good in schools either. I made my mind, like maybe 13, 14 years old, that I want to be a boxer, I want to be world champion. And that was my dream. I'm competing in Israel, I became national champion a few times, and uh, represent Israel in international competitions. And then uh, I reached my potential there. That, that's what I felt like. Boxing in Israel, surprisingly, is not a very popular sport. It should be. Martial arts should be, period, the most popular sport because if you look at the just geographical location, anybody who knows geography a little bit, they realize that not the friendly neighborhood and then uh, they pursuing sports that it's not something that gives you a self-defense. I came to the United States. If you look at history of boxing here in the United States, uh, in 20s and 30s, during the boom of immigration from Italy, Ireland, and Eastern European Jewry was coming here. It was like 70% of all the world champions were Jews, you know. Very hard nations. They came from Eastern Europe in 20s and 30s. You're not getting good boxer because of comfort. No, you get a good boxer of discomfort, of hurt, of pain. was a sport of immigrants, you know? It's kind of uh, breaks the borders between people. So in Israel, I experienced that. All the Jewish coaches, you know, there's a few Arab coaches, yeah. and but the head coach was a Russian Jew. It was amazing, and, and amazing in a way, it was a little bit scary. They're like, t t they're gonna murder me. But luckily in boxing, there's the rules, yeah. you know? It looks very scary, but there's gonna be rules. He cannot take a weapon, he cannot think, he have his two hands and this and then you're gonna find out how good he is and how good you are or how bad you are. And slowly I re earn respect right. from all of them. We stop looking like he's an Arab and I'm a Jew or Russian Jew, you know. We start looking as boxer boxer. I don't follow media so much. And then I noticed on social media, there were like two kids in Bay Ridge attacked, get attacked because one of them was wearing IDF, uh, Israel Defense Force, you know, shirt. And clearly someone who was, had already a uh, anti-Semitic tendencies or hate towards Jews, they beat up one kid and the other kid was just afraid to do even interview because they've been told if you join, you're gonna have the same fate. They came here, we reached out to them. I reached out to them like, listen, let me come here. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple lessons and I talk with you. I cannot say it's a spike now of anti-Semitic attacks. I more see it as, as a kind of a wave. It's like a stocks, you know, like in a, it's unpredictable. It's always been, it's always will be as long as Jews are alive. You know, um, there's even countries where there's hardly any Jews living, but yet they're anti-Semites. What Israel is, I urge people, if they are have to, a hate towards one country, learn a little bit, maybe a background of that. Don't learn something from a real. Don't learn from a cartoon or a comic, you know, that's bad. I know a lot of people who learn their news from tweets, you know, or from the cartoons, you know, because that's where the, our patient is. You know, they show something like some evil um, rockets with, with the Star of David in it, and there's a little baby there, and it's like, and it's emotion. One of the boxing, in boxing or martial arts, one thing that you have to master is your emotion. If you are getting bullied and you get scared and the fear takes over, then it's mean that your fear just uh, took advantage of you. It actually took over completely. Thank you for joining us on the Kufi Weekly. Hope you enjoyed that episode. 
talking to, like I said, the first Israeli world champion and hearing about his experiences in Israel and also being Jewish in Brooklyn at the height of this anti-Semitic wave. Until next week, for Zion's sake, do not remain silent. Thanks for checking out today's episode of Kufi Weekly. If you enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the latest news from the Middle East, along with topics involving US-Israel relations, please be sure to like and subscribe. And remember to click that notification button so that you are notified every time a new show is uploaded.